Okay, I'm just taking a look at some of these Google apps. Now, I've got one already installed uh, because of TaskRabbit. It's called Social Traces, and it's this research company out of uh, Cornell University, and they're just like watching over my uh, likes on YouTube for a month, and then they'll pay me ten dollars or something. Uh, I wanted to look at these other apps though too. I haven't in a while. I have I've I haven't used most of these. The majority of them I'm familiar with them. Like Quick Note, I use something like Quick Note for my iPad. It's pretty nice, uh, but I just can't imagine using it for my laptop. My laptop does not have touch screen, so. It, I don't see much benefit in Quick Notes. I have used PicMonkey, and it's very nice. You can manipulate your photos how you feel. I never used it. I never used the app form of it though. It's always been uh, just going to the website. So this this would allow you to uh, access it without the website. Gmail offline. I mean, there's got to be benefit there. It can um, hold on. You can look at your mail offline, which is nice. TweetDeck. I u I go to the website for TweetDeck, so that's that could be useful. I mean, these are the popular ones. So, just for historical reference, you know, it's almost June 2014. What well, what will change next year for popularity? Pick because uh, uh, it's. A lot of these have probably been the same, but a lot of these have changed. PicMonkey is kind of new. Quick Note might be new. TweetDeck's probably been around. Google Play's probably been around. Weather Channel's been around, I'm sure. Um, so yeah, you could you could uh, play with your photo for that. You can also that's very similar to PicMonkey. You'd, you'd probably add extra weird things to the webcam toy. Um, I seem to have skipped. All right. So, Postman. Um, yeah, I'm not familiar. Google News. Okay. Yeah. I, yeah, that that could be that could be helpful if you're a big news fanatic. I prefer going to like Reddit, um, Gawker, and Boing Boing, because common news is. I don't know, I just see it in Yahoo. Solitaire, that's fun every so often. Weatherbug, now you probably only want one weather app. What the what the first weather the weather channel has a lot of bloat on its on the iPad. That make me a little nervous about um, their programming on here too. It's just a slow upload. Angry Birds is fun for a little while for me. Spotify, I don't really listen to. I prefer making my own music, so that's that's my own habit. Solitaire again. Only want one solitaire game. I've I've gone there where I've gotten like five or six different ones, and they're all this, they all come down to being the same thing. So you don't want to go crazy with these games getting the same type from different sources. So now we're looking at games. Dropbox, I don't find it very reliable. People get all bent out of shape over it, but it hasn't been helpful to me. Maybe there's some business out there that needs it. Evernote, so many people praise this, but I just haven't found In fact, they, I can't even get into my Evernotes. They they uh, blocked my at, my uh, password, and I can't, I can't contact them. It's... I just gave up on it. it. They say so much nice, so many nice things about it, but I, I just no longer can access it. SoundCloud is great, but that's because I make my own music. <clears throat> Advanced Rest, custom HTTP. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Have to learn some programming for that. Feedly. Yeah, I haven't used Feedly. I don't have any experience with that. Uh, Pixlr touch up, not familiar with. OneDrive, uh, 
Yeah, never used. Game, Little Alchemy. Sounds like a game with Little Alchemy. So, yeah, you could go on here. I don't see a reason to, to read books on my laptop. I think reading ebooks would be a more ideal on an e ink reader, like a Kindle. Because I'm nervous about reading it on my iPad or even my iPod. I just don't, the battery life just isn't there. It just doesn't make sense. Google Finance, yeah, I don't have any finances. So if I had money, I'd probably be more keen on the, the financial apps. This is the original Plants vs. Zombies, I think. It's the the second one is a lot is a lot better, but I'm tired of it anyway. Games, good games, good games. Yeah, we're we're. I don't know about Facebook news. So it's oh, a lot of photo editors, a lot of games. Oh, this one's supposed to be popular. I don't get it. It's it's too easy. More photo editing stuff. More games. Huh, there's not as many music ones as I, I would have thought. Photo eBay, that could be helpful. I've been trying to sell some things right now on my my uh account. So oh okay. Diagrams maybe like uh, pop. Whatever that word is, um, I can't. My brain is gone. I can't think of a word. But yeah, games and pho photography is the third type of weather. It's kind of rare. Entangled. Yeah, it's a game. TV. Okay, so still a lot of these popular ones are going to be games and rain alarm. That's probably going to be your weather. Yeah, not as many music ones. In I want to say, uh, okay, world club. Yeah, games, more games. Okay, popular in the U.S. Okay, Pandora, you got them right on top. That's music. Games, all texting. Wow. Yeah, in the popular ones, there isn't a lot of texting, huh? Small business, games, weather, a radio, another music one. Games, TV, another weather. Weather again. Walmart deals. Interesting. Okay, uh, let's see. Education. Graphing calculator. Oh, and then, okay, learn a foreign language. Business tools. Clipular shoebox, interesting. All right, Google Drive is pretty popular, and this is on the Chrome. So, music player sheets, sheets is pretty popular. That's something to learn. Okay, these are ones that maybe work with the Google Drive, because PicMonkey's in here again. AutoCAD, that's, that'll take a lot of education. That could be used for 3D printing. Forms and Google Drive. Yeah, those, those are helpful. Um, drawings. Oh, you make your make your music. That'd be interesting to see what instruments they have. 